Good day to all the great three pupils. Teacher Matt is here and I welcome you all to your science class. So last week we I discussed to you about the force and motion and we even finished um, studying about the sources of light. So light comes naturally and artificially. So we have here the natural sources of light which includes the sun, the moon, and the stars. And the artificial sources of lights are those equipments or even gadgets that produces light. For example, flashlights, candles, even televisions, and smartphones. So today, I will continue on discussing about the sources of heat and even the sources of electricity. We will also be talking about how do sound is Produce. So are you ready to learn something even at home? Let's get started. So here, the question is, how do sound produce? Do you know? So here you can see the pictures. This picture shows um, kids playing musical instruments like saxophone, keyboard, someone is singing or like that. And in reality, whenever you play instruments, you can hear sounds, right? So how is that so? How do sound is produced? So sound is produced through what you call vibration. So sound is produced by objects that vibrate. So what is vibra vibration? Vibration is the back and forth movement. When it goes like this back and forth, that means vibration is being produced. So whenever you touch a table and you hear sound, that means there is vibration. So for example, here, look. We people, we people also produce sounds, right? So how is that possible? Like for example here, Look here, the kids, when the kid is shouting, sound is being produced. Now here, how, is, how did that happen? So vibration of the vocal cords is responsible for the generation of speech. So here, in this part of our net, we have that what you call vocal cords. So please uh, place your hand in this part of your neck and speak and you can feel something that vibrates. So that is your vocal cords that enable you, vocal cord rather, that enables you to produce, um, that enable you to speak, that enable you to produce your voice. So here. Now, next to that is, here are some examples. Whenever you play guitars or whenever you clap, whenever you tap something and there is sound, that means there is vibration as well. Can you do something like that? Clap your hand, tap the table, and speak la 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 and sing la 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 or something like that. That is sound. And sound is produced through vibrations, right? Now, let's go through what you call electricity. So, we need electricity. Might be appliances at home, or most of the uh, objects right now are being run by electricity. And without this electricity, we won't be able to use our gadgets, our lampshades, our flashlights, or even um, Wi-Fi. You like that? Do you like that? So here are the sources of electricity. So we have here the batteries. So inside those batteries, electric electricity is being stored. And also we have this, what you call the power stations, which uses coals, natural gas, and oil to generate electricity like this. So this one. The Miralco is one of our power stations. So this one uses coals like that to generate electricity. Sometimes water can also produce electricity. Okay, enough of that. Now I will be presenting to you some facts about the sound and the light. So sounds can travel through solid, liquid, and gas. Yeah, so, but where do you think sound travels the fastest? So, it travels 
the fastest in solids. Why? It's because um, the molecules in solids are tightly packed together that makes sounds travel faster compared to gas and liquid. Another about the light and the sound here. So the speed of light is much faster than the speed of sound. So whenever you hear thunder, so that sound, right? But before thunder, light or lightning comes out. So lightning first before thunder because light travels faster than sound. Is that very good here? Now, um, here, I will be presenting to you the uses of light, the sound, and even the uses of electricity. I know every day you are, um, though, though you are not familiar with this uses, unconsciously you are using this heat, light, and the sound. So here, number one, the uses of light. So we have here for animals. For animals, we have, um, they use light to see things. We see our environment because of the light. Maybe without light, our world will be filled with dark darkness. We cannot see the colors. We cannot see our friends and even our families. Also, um, light is also used by plants. They need it for their process of making food, which we call photosynthesis. Next, we also have here the uses of heat. So the uses of heat includes drying or the heat of the sun dries many objects like when your mother washes clothes and, and she hangs it outside your house and then later on it will be dried up because of the heat of the sun and even the dried fish, it was dried under the heat of the sun as well. That's why we have teo. Next, another use of heat is um, to keep our body warm, right? Like when you go to beaches and do sunbathing, and that is to feel the warmth and heat of the sun. Another, we have here, also plants need heat from the sun to live and to grow because the heat of the sun gives us energy. Next, another, also the heat also, uh, you use also heat whenever your mother is cooking like that. So we can eat food or we can cook food through heat. So you can have the heat from the oven, from the griller, or even from your gas stove. Another, the uses of sounds. Uses of sound, one of its uses is to communicate through the way we through through talking. So we talk through our voices and that is sound. Next is to warn you of danger. Whenever you hear ambulance, right, you can hear that something is wrong. And also to entertain. When there's someone is singing and playing instruments, you inter it can entertain you, right? So that's very good to hear because there is sound. Next uses of electricity we have here for appliances for them to be function for them to function they need electricity. And also electricity is also used for many things like here for the Christmas lights like that, for decorations like that, and even for um for us to do for our work to be easier, we need electricity because everything right now is being operated by electricity. So for your homework, do pages 213 to 214 of your book and another take pictures at home that show uses light, heat, sound, and electricity to be fast next week. So for your questions, raise your questions next week. So that will be all. Goodbye everyone and have a blessed and safe week. Bye!